Hi, my name is Kyle Stanhouse and I'm the Director of Autonomy here at Syngin. Today I'd like to talk to you about the process of deploying an autonomous vehicle at your domain. In order for an autonomous vehicle to operate, it first needs a map of its space. Um, it needs this map to understand where it is in the space with respect to where it wants to go. So we uh, arrive at your space with our uh, mapping vehicle, the Chariot, um, and our data collection kit and we drive through the space, right? Everywhere that the autonomous robot needs to be, um, we need to collect data for. Um, and after initial mapping run, we need to continue to move through the space and collect data, uh, particularly in the more um, populated regions where vehicles are moving throughout, pedestrians. We need to understand what vehicles we're gonna encounter, um, how we're going to encounter them, um, and sort of the way people move through the environment. What's also of interest is um, the route layout. If we're going to create autonomous missions that traverse intersections, uh, we need to understand that. Um, if pedestrians are going to be walking next to the vehicle um, as it goes uh, through its autonomous mission, we need to know that. Once we get the data, um, the first thing we need to do is create a point cloud map. And this is what the robot uses to find itself in the space and where it is with respect to where it needs to go. Then we need to define all the navigable routes and exclusionary zones with respect to that point cloud map. Once we've defined all the routes and exclusionary zones, uh, we can work with the customer to define uh, what an autonomous mission might look like for them. Uh, where does the robot start? Um, where does it need to get loaded? Where does it need to get unloaded? Uh, where does it return to? Are there particular times in the day when we would repeat this autonomous mission? Um, are there any uh, waypoints or locations in the environment in which you'd like the robot to stop and wait for a prompt to continue its autonomous mission. So it really depends on what the individual needs of the customer are. What's exciting is that we're really starting to roll this out to our customers. The process of deploying a new autonomous vehicle in your space can take about a week. If you feel like your organization can benefit from our autonomy, please get in touch. We can definitely help you.